Okay, so today I'm going to talk to you about two different animals. Uh, a lot of people do get confused with these animals and they are called the, the impala and then your springbuck. So talking about the springbuck and the impala, looks quite the same except for a couple of differences. Your springbuck has got quite a bit of white on it, whereas your impala more reddish brown. The horns, your impala's got longer horns, whereas your springbuck has the shorter horns. They're also much smaller in comparison with your impala. Okay, so you can see the, the springbuck behind me. You can see the characteristic black line on the side, um, the small horns, and of course the white markings on the face. Uh, if you look over there, you'll see that their camouflage is quite brilliant with the white faces, uh, the brown bodies breaking up. So the camouflage is quite good. Uh, these animals, but problem we have on John Ray's Plas at the moment is where they're supposed to be 50-50 with browsing and grazing, these guys are grazing about 80% instead of 50, but they do adapt. And we'll make sure on our, uh, on our farm that we will make sure that they do have the right vegetation. Although your spring buck, what makes them so clever is at nighttime they will feed more. So they'll go for the vegetation where its water capacity in daytime will be about 8% and at nighttime they'll be about 26%. So they don't need to drink water that regularly. Whereas with your Impala, they drink about every single day. Okay, so the strength that these two antelope have is definitely their horns, protecting themselves and also for fighting. Staying in groups, also a plus point. So quite strong. Weaknesses, if you do get a bachelor here and there, they are easy targets. Now the reasons why I love the impalas and the springbuck is they're always in a group. They're looking out for one another and I think we can learn a lot from them.